Nick walks down the hall towards his apartment door. He digs in his pocket, searching for his keys. With one hand, holds the fishbowl in his other hand. He has a phone between his shoulder and ear. Yeah, so I just bought the replacement. He looks just like the old one. She won't even know the difference. I know I'm stupid. She asked me to do two things while she's away on her family trip, and I just had to forget to feed her fish. Yeah, man, so I just got home. I'll we'll see you later for drinks, though, tonight. Nick puts his phone in his back pocket. He gets his keys and crumbled receipt out and drops the receipt inside the apartment while opening the door. He almost drops the fishbowl as he trips over the doormat. Waiting for him, well, interior apartment kitchen day. <laughs> Waiting for him standing next to the dining table is his girlfriend. She smiles big and hugs him. Surprise, Nick tries to hide the fishbowl behind him as they hug. I'm back a day early. Hey. He's a little nervous as she'll see the fish and question him. She looks over his shoulder and sees the fishbowl. Were you outside with Casper? I took him for a walk. You forgot to feed him, huh? Just bought a new one? What? No, no, I'm serious. I thought he could use some outside air. Plus you asked for two things. Jessica walks around him towards the door and picks up the receipt he dropped. It's from Walmart and it has the fish and bowl listed as items he bought that day. Proof! You bought the new fish today. You thought I wouldn't be able to tell the difference? How could you? I asked you to do one thing. Whoa, 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 relax. It's just a fish. You can easily pretend this one is Casper. No, I can't. Did you at least give him a proper burial? Of course, babe. I feel so awful. I had to. I wore black and everything. You're such a liar. They begin to argue. Both of them get angry. I wonder what else you've lied about. Did you take advantage of me being gone to see another girl? You've probably lied about seeing another... about seeing your family. You're the one seeing another dude. Explain to me why there's cute messages from another dude on there. Nick points to her laptop on the coffee table next to the couch. You've been reading my messages. You don't trust me? Well, your laptop was open and so were the messages. I just glanced and got to read it and good thing I did. You're cheating on me. I am not! You killed my fish! That was an accident. Unlike this. How could you? Nick and Jessica continue to argue, bringing up all kinds of nonsense. Jessica decides to step out for air. I hate you. I don't know why I'm still with you. Actually, I'm done. No, we're meant to be together. Let me go! As they continue to argue, Nick pushes Jessica off of the balcony and she dies on impact. Or she goes back inside and closes the door angrily. He walks in after her, but then he opens the door, he hits her with it, and she hits her head and dies. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Fuck! Well, what do I do? What should I do? I love her. Loved her? Fuck! I just need to, I just need to replace her. Just like the fish. It's alright. It'll all be fine. Nick pulls out his phone and he starts downloading all the dating apps. Tinder, Bumble, Match, etc. He starts swiping like crazy. He looks at his phone and up to where his dead girlfriend lays, comparing faces. He found one. This is crazy. She looks just like her. This could work. Okay, now to get rid of the body. Nick gets rid of the body. It's a match. Okay, message her. They exchange text messages for a while and agree to meet up for lunch. The next day, Nick is sitting at a table alone as he waits for his date, Miranda. He's really nervous. He didn't think or plan the whole thing through. A girl identical to his girlfriend, but with different hair, walks in. Nick, right? Y yeah, hi, Miranda. Uh, this is so nice meeting you. This is quick. I don't usually agree to meet up with someone this quickly, but I don't know. I guess I just felt like taking a risk. Well, I'm glad you did. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're not bad yourself. So can I buy you lunch? Sure. They walk up to the counter and order food. They have a pleasant lunch day. They finish eating and head outside the restaurant. So this was nice. Yeah, not bad at all. Would you like to come back to my place? You can meet my pet fish. 
Um, maybe next time. I should get going. Well, can I at least walk you to your car? Sure. Nick walks Miranda to the car. Interior parking garage day. I mean, that's exterior, but... The parking lot is filled with cars, but with no people around. They get to her car, and he pulls out a rag with chloroform, and he suffocates her. Nick drags her to his car, which is nearby. He puts her in the trunk and takes her to his place. Interior apartment night. Miranda wakes up tied to a chair in a dark room. Nick turns on a lamp light. What the hell? Help! Be quiet. Nick, why are you doing this? Is, is this some kind of sick joke? Let me go, now! Sorry, Jessica. You have to stay here. You need to remember all about us. Jessica? What the fuck? Are you crazy? Let me go! Okay. Nick duct tapes her mouth. So I'm sorry about forgetting to feed your fish. I'm glad you're back from your family trip. I really missed you. You can't talk about this Leo kid anymore, okay? Okay. So you should know your hair is a bit different. You should change it back. Actually, let's do that right now. Nick looks for scissors. As he walks up to her with the scissors, she gets loose from the rope around her legs, and she knees him in the groin. She begins to look for the door and runs. She makes it out of the apartment, but with her mouth still taped shut and her arms still tied. Ah! That hurt. Jessica, violence is not the answer. You'd think we'd know that by now. Help! Not so fast. Nick caught up to her and knocked her down. He hits her with the nearby rock, not realizing his strength. Miranda dies. Fuck! Not again. The end. <laughs>